It's nearly a, a year after lease signing in March. I'm appalled the Commission still hasn't checked into comparable rates at neighboring ports. This is the fourth time I presented you with the facts and figures, which you refuse to look at. You say you can't obtain the data after nearly a year. In two hours on the phone, I got the rates from Monterey, Santa Cruz, San Francisco, and Bodega Bay. Peter Grinnell's letter to me on March 15th, stating he would consult the commission, never materialized. He was going to consult the commission about these absorbent fees that you want to charge us, get a hold of me, and work something out. It's never happened. And you can't say you don't have the information because this is the fourth time I've given it to you. In the meantime, the Commission wants one cent a pound in all fish and shellfish and ten dollars a ton in all wet fish. We only get thirty dollars a ton for unloading the squid and twenty dollars a ton for sardines. So that's one third of what we make unloading squid and fifty percent of what we get to unload uh, anchovies or sardines. I would think the Commission would encourage more unloading to increase out-of-town boats to do business locally and in San Mateo County. This would increase slip rents and ice and fuel sales, not to mention increased restaurant use and local shopping for supplies. It's obvious the commission, the commission that has never seen out on the dock has no idea of what drives the fishing business. They seem to feel all we do is make profit. Our ice expenditures were over $19,000 this year, all bought from our local ice house, which goes into the coffers of San Mateo County. Forklift rental exceeded $20,000, the forklifts we had to, to rent to unload the squid and all the rest of the stuff, not to mention all the nine guys that run the, run the whole dock. The freezer repair was $15,000, $3,500 in propane, Electricity, five to six thousand dollars to supply the freezers that give all the fishermen in this port an availability of bait to keep the boats here in the harbor and keep them happy. Base rent, thirty thousand dollars. You raised it to that. We had to replace two roll up doors. One was rusted out from, from time, and uh, the landlords apparently won't fix them, so I had to do it myself. And three weeks after that happened, a guy backed into it, one of our clients, and knocked it down again, $6,000. $100,000 squid pump, state-of-the-art, Wang device, everything else. Not to mention labor costs for the employees, scale, certification charges, Waymaster's license, water bills, scale repairs, hoist maintenance, right down to us paying for the, for the taxes on the ground underneath the dock. It was disturbing to me Robert Bernardo's reply to Mr. Olam in a letter of December 16th. And I quote, they have hooked into a new revenue stream by raising base rents on the three buying stations and $50,000 of new revenue from buyers between April and October. Well, you see the expenses we all have, all three of us. And you start right off the get-go getting your share. It should be something like Mallory said. This increase will ultimately be paid by the fishermen. I feel strongly the harbor should stay in the berth and lease business and keep their nose out of the fishing business like every other port in California. If they feel they want to benefit from the hardworking and risk-taking men and women who have no guarantees they will come home that night, they should buy a boat, licenses and permits and go to sea themselves. If it weren't for the fishermen in this port, the commissioners would have nothing to manage. Thank you.